Hey, Ryan here from Web Eminence. Hopefully you're tracking conversions in your Google Ads campaigns already, but I think most people are not utilizing conversion values, and that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So I'm gonna quickly explain what conversion values are, and I'm also gonna show you two examples of real client accounts where I'm using conversion values. It's not gonna be necessary in all accounts, but there are some account types and conversion types where it just becomes critical. And I'm gonna show you that. So conversion values are numbers that are assigned to conversions. So if you're in your Google Ads account, you can click on goals, which will take you to the summary of the conversions. The easiest way to see values is probably clicking here on view all conversion actions, because then it shows you the value in a column. And this is just an example. So this is like a medical facility that's a client of mine. Let me first show you what the conversion values are. So if I were to go into one of these conversion actions, this one's phone calls from a website, you can see the value set to 200. So if you click on edit settings, click on value, you can see the different options. So you can select to don't use a value for the conversion action, which is typically the default, or you can use the same value for each conversion and set it here. And these settings might look different for other conversion types. If I go into another one, that's not a phone call, you'll see I can use the same value for each conversion or I can use different values for each conversion. And like in an e-commerce account, this could be tied to like sales. So you can actually count the revenue coming from a sale. I'll show you that on another account in a few minutes. But basically what this is, is assigning some kind of value to the lead. So if it's a phone call, you could kind of determine phone calls are worth $30 to me or in the case of this uh, medical client, a phone call is worth $200 to them. And that's something you could figure out in your business based on like your average revenue per customer, and then like the percentage of phone calls that turn into customers. But for most people, a lead is gonna be anywhere from like $30 to like $200. The actual amount you choose is not so important. Usually the most important thing is like the relative values between your different conversion actions. So if you don't set up any values, Google's basically going to count every conversion action in your account as a single conversion. And then if you're using a bid strategy like maximize conversions, that may work fine if all your conversions are really the same value to you, whether it's a phone call or a form submission. I have accounts like that where they're all pretty much the same value. But in the case of this medical client here, here's what I was going to show you where we have phone calls we're tracking. We're also tracking form submissions. We're valuing those at $30, so they value form submissions much lower than the phone calls at $200. The other thing we have happening on this account is appointment clicks. So they're using an appointment system that I can't track all the way to completion. The only thing I can track is when a visitor clicks on the appointment to go to the appointment calendar. So those are valuable, but they're not a full appointment. So I was able to kind of figure out how many turn into appointments, and basically get to the point of attributing the value of $5 to these clicks. So you can see the variance of the value on these conversion actions ranging from $5 to $200. And then you could kind of understand how if we were to value all these the same as like one single conversion, it's gonna cause the campaign to be a little bit out of whack because it might prioritize appointment clicks because those come through a lot, but they're not nearly as valuable as like a phone call. So I'm gonna show you one other example of an account where values are really important. So this account um, is a website that has e-commerce purchasing, so people can purchase products, but it also generates leads and phone calls. So you can see some of the different things we're tracking here. The first thing is a purchase, which is an example of an e-commerce purchase that happens through a shopping cart. And we're able to track through Google Analytics the number of conversions, but also the value. So you can see like in the last 30 days, there were $6,500 in value that came through from these conversions. So again, that's tracking revenue from sales. There's also sample orders that happen, and these are all pretty much $100. So we value these at $100. It's kind of like a lead. They're not making money on the sample order, but it's a, it's a lead that might make a purchase. So it's a good lead. We have lead form submissions that we value at $100. There's a sign up for a newsletter that occurs. Those are valued just at $10. And then we have other leads coming through phone calls and other contact forms that are all valued at $100. So this is a good example of where conversion values are necessary because I couldn't just track purchases as the same as a phone call because someone could be purchasing, you know, $3,000 worth of a product 
and then someone could just be calling you know with questions so those are obviously valued differently so then we can give these conversion actions different values in order to to feed those values into the bid strategy and that's what i wanted to show you next because the reason you would do all this and give different values to um, the conversions is so that you can use the bid strategy called maximize conversion value so the maximize conversion value bid strategy is a smart bid strategy just like maximize conversions it's going to use different factors like time of day keyword location all the different factors that the system can use but it's also going to take into account the different values that are set on your conversions so it says it'll use this bid strategy it will help you get the most conversion value for your budget and target ROAS. So basically the idea of this bid strategy is to get the most value for your budget. So it might prioritize certain leads and certain conversion actions over others based on those values we set. And then you can use a target, you don't have to, but you can use a target return on ad spend. So you might like put in 200%, which would mean I want $2 in value for every $1 in ad spend. This is a target you could set once you set those values and see what ROAS you're getting. I go over that more in other videos, so I'm not gonna cover that too much in detail here. The important thing I'm trying to communicate in this video is that your conversion actions can be given varying values so that you can value them higher or lower depending on how important they are, how valuable they are to your business. And then once you have that data running for maybe 30 days, you can use maximize conversion value. And again, this is going to be important for you if you have different conversion actions that are valuable to you in different ways. Could be an e-commerce purchase, could be a lead that's much better than like a phone call, for example. But there's different reasons. So I showed you two and hopefully that'll help you understand if this applies to you. This process of valuing your conversions and using the max conversion value bid strategy can get pretty complex. So if you're looking for help in managing your account, you could definitely check out my pay-per-click management service. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I've done other videos on conversion tracking and return on ad spend. So I'll leave some links to those other videos and we'll see you on the next one.